here for another 60-ish. So, whenever you're working on a train chiller or really any low pressure centrifugal, if you are just did repairs or say you are uh, doing a annual maintenance, you change purge dryer, you change oil filter, stuff like that, always go into your purge unit and disable that alarm for you know the 72 hour pump out alarm uh, that way anything that got in the system you know you know it was because of either the repair or the maintenance something like that it may not be an actual active leak or problem to do that on a uh, standalone system like this so right now we're in the temp report menu the main menu looks like this we're going to hit next until we get to settings enter so right now I'm running this and on that will be the next thing you want to do you want to set this purge uh, most of the time you want to set it to on you don't have to if the chiller is going to be running for extended period of time anyway what you're looking for is right here disable pump alarm so I've got this one going for another 23 hours. This will go up to 72 hours on this. You're just going to hit the plus button, let it run all the way up until it says uh, 72. Hit enter and you're good. It's going to lock in at that for 72 hours. Uh, and then just let that run through there and it will automatically disable itself and go back to uh, using the alarm after that once it's done. Now, if you're at a main control panel, I have the older adaptive control here. And where you would do that on this panel is under service settings. You're gonna go to service settings. You're gonna cycle over. Now, it's gonna be under the field settings. And you're, you're gonna have to input the password and you'll cycle through that menu and you'll come to this it says purge disable pump out alarm x number of hours so if you are if, if the purge is being controlled through this display that is where that alarm is if it is the older series of adaptive view i'm sorry the newer series of adaptive view controller uh, that's got the green screen and the touch screen uh, that one is under the you're going to hit the settings menu then you're under the purge menu under settings it'll give you the option to uh, disable pump out alarm for 72 hours there so uh, if you have the newer software that has the train tu uh, software in it again that's going to be under the purge settings inside of that software as well so that's how train sets theirs up uh, like I said, if you, if you just had major repairs or uh, even if you're wondering if you have a leak or anything like that, always go in and check that setting, see what it's doing. Make sure that uh, you run that and, and don't be too quick to jump on, oh hey, we got a leak. Take a slow, slower approach, uh, run through that pump out, see how the system performs. If you need to set a current limit on the compressor to keep it from going into, uh, say, a surge, if it's got atmosphere in the system, you can prevent it from surging by uh, setting a current limit of, like, say, 40% or 50%, whatever needed. That way you keep it online, but you're not letting it ramp up too much to go into a surge state because of the atmosphere. I've said enough. I've talked enough. Another 60 is coming at you. Appreciate it, guys. Spend time with your families. Love you.